this is Gabby. Um, I found a quiet place here in the bathroom, so lock the door and no one usually bothers me in here. Um, so I can talk to you for a few minutes. It's kind of noisy out there. Um, last night I did a lot of work on my desire. And it's become so all-consuming that it's robbing me of so much. And I said I would share with you what I'm doing to deal with my desire. So last night I was at a friend's house and they had this huge uh, mirror in the bathroom and I spent my entire evening in front of the mirror. Um, didn't go and come to dinner. <laughs> they weren't offended. I didn't feel like hanging out with their guests. Um, I spent the entire evening in front of the mirror talking and doing this treatment to myself. And I let my desire get bigger. Instead of rationalizing it or feeling sorry for myself, I said let's observe how big it gets. How much space does it take? And my desire filled up the bathroom. And I um, said, well, what is my desire? And I went as absolute extreme as I could with my desire. That I would, you know, leave my husband and leave my children and leave my life and leave my identity and leave everything and not be Gabi Klaff. And I would, you know, reinvent myself. And I would, what would I be willing to give up for my desire. And I went through every extreme thing, including disowning who I am, to have my desire. And it filled up the bathroom, and I observed it fill up their whole bedroom, and I observed it fill up their apartment and their building. And then I observed it fill up the whole block and all of Lima. And, it, and then it went on. And it was amazing to observe how bad I desire and how strong my desire is. It filled up all of Peru and all of South America. And I'm standing there in front of the mirror and crying because my desire is so big that we've all gone over South America and we were heading toward the world. And suddenly, it got quiet. Like, I was miserable and in my desire and wanting it and willing to give up everything for my desire. And suddenly something else started to come in, like quiet waves that said, no you wouldn't. No you wouldn't. You don't even want this that bad. And it wouldn't be worth that. And here's five reasons that just popped into your head why that's not even what you want. And all of these um, more logical thoughts shifted into my mind as soon as I let myself experience the emotional to the extreme, to the extreme of disowning my own identity and everything that I've ever done and known for my desire, I gave it the legitimate space it needed and then it faded. It's pretty amazing. I, I know I have more work to do, but I wanted to share with you how powerful that was for me to totally drown in my desire and the misery of me not getting what I'm desiring and letting it get so big that it overtook all of me and then it just dissipated. So I wanted to share that with you. It was really exciting for me to go through that process. And I'd like, of course, to, share, to hear if you've gone through a similar process or if you're going through facing your desires your unmet, unhealthy desires. Um, maybe they've reached a level of obsession like mine have. And what you've done. I'd love to be a part of, of learning from you as well. So thank you.